Hey guys, what's up? So Windows 10 is just around the corner. It should be out in a few hours. And I have the technical preview with me here. And I'm going to go over my top 5 features in Windows 10. So let's get right into it. So number 1. Number 1 has to be the start menu. Now this was a feature that almost every version of Windows since like the second version has had except for Windows 8. Now, this was the, probably the biggest mistake Microsoft could have made was getting rid of the start menu and coming up with that little, I don't know what they called it, but it looks basically like this. And instead of having a start menu, it was all of this. And that was really annoying and you couldn't really find what you wanted. Now you have the start menu again with all the apps and everything so you can scroll through what you have installed and stuff and the neat thing is like what you install is kind of in, like um, organized in folders so for example Google Chrome it's in its own folder if you have other files that come with the program they're gonna be in that folder for example the program that I'm using to record Camp Studios it has its files in here pretty simple so yeah, um, one thing I don't like about Windows 10 is this little menu. I think you could have done without it. So number two. Number two has to be the multitasking. So what I mean by that is when you have a lot of apps open, let's say you open like this and then you have a bunch of like Chrome tabs open but they're in their own window, it's going to be hard looking for each one of them. Is once there's a lot, you're going to have to go through each one of them and that gets annoying. So what you can do is you can click on this little icon right here. When you click on it, it displays everything that's open. So I have no idea what the limit of this is. So um, yeah, so it makes it pretty simple to find everything. I'm going to try to open as much as possible so I can see if there is a limit or not. So I'm just going to go through opening everything. And I want to open everything in a new window. So there's a lot of windows, not just one window that shows up. Alright, that should be enough. So yeah, I don't think there is a limit. It's just going to get smaller and smaller. And each thing is going to open up. And this is a really cool feature. And yeah, so that's number two, which is the multitasking. Number three. Number three has to be multiple desktops. Now this makes it a lot easier when you have a bunch of stuff open and you need a fresh place to work, but you can't close out everything. So what you can do is you can click on the same icon. You click on the same icon you did for this uh, menu or multi multitasking thing. And you can click on this icon in the bottom right, which says new desktop. And it basically creates a new desktop. With mine, or how I have it set up, is it does not display anything else open in the other desktop. You have to change this through the settings. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what um, multiple desktop is. Now this is a new feature to Windows, but it has been around for a while in OS X. And well, I guess Windows Microsoft is copying it, but it doesn't matter. Is this is a must-have feature? So one thing you can do now, um, which you weren't able to do in an earlier preview, is if you have like multiple desktops open and you have a bunch of apps over here, let's say you want to like you take this and like move it to the other desktop, and now that's pretty simple to do. But before you weren't able to do that, so this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know which preview, which update preview this came in, but it definitely wasn't there in the first one. And um, yeah, this is basically multiple desktops. So number four, number four is the snap feature in Windows. Now we saw this in Windows 8, and I think it might have been in Windows 7 as well. But basically what it was is you drag your, um, your program to the left or to the right and it snaps in place. And that was it. Then like everything else will be open like that. But now what it does is basically 
when you snap it, it suggests you to snap these two. So let's say I want to click on, oh they're all documents, so click on that, it snaps that and automatically as well. So that this is a pretty cool feature. Um, it's not that impressive. It's it's been around for a little while. Um, they just had to do a little bit of work to get that in there. But another cool feature within the snapping thing is you can snap to a corner, and it'll size down to that corner, and then it still suggests you to snap something else in there, which you can. What you can do is have up to four different windows open at once using the snap function. So this is a really productive feature and I'm glad that they did put it in there and not ignore it. So number five. Number five is a feature that Microsoft could have left out but they included it anyways. And it's a really handy feature and that is notifications. So now when you click this little icon you get this notification tray. Um, which is really helpful for when you get those little like notifications on the right, right here. Um, like this. Wait, if I plug, if I plug something in or unplug it, um, it shows up. I don't know if it's gonna detect this. Yeah, no, it's not gonna detect that. Um, let's see. I can unplug my headphones right now. So one feature that I did want to do was Cortana, and Cortana is basically a virtual assistant like Siri or Google Now or S Voice, and also the Sil and Beta Hound. And what it does is basically you can ask it to search stuff, um, and it'll Bing, it'll Bing search it. It won't use Google or anything. Obviously, it's Microsoft. They're gonna use their own search engine, but it is pretty helpful. You can set reminders and stuff. And a reason why I did not want to do this was that it's not complete. There's a lot more that needs to be done to make it complete. Right now it's super buggy and oh we have a couple hours left until the next, like until Windows 10 is actually released. And I feel like they rushed it and they didn't put time into it. Um, I've, I would give you a demo right now but the thing is as soon as I use Cortana um, it basically glitches out my video, my screen recorder, and I can't save the video, so I can't give you a demo. But basically, you could ask it to set reminders. Um, you could ask it math problems, questions, movies, anything, and it will answer those for you. But thing is, like, um, when I try to set reminders, it tells me that it couldn't do that. Um, but as soon as I click remind, it's like, alright, I'll remind you. But then, as soon as that time comes around, it never reminds you. It's like, what's going on? So, it is still pretty buggy. So, guys, that was my top 5 features for Windows 10. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you think. These are all opinion, and your opinion may vary. So, you don't have to like what I like. What you may like is something like on oh, no, Internet Explorer. Yeah, that would be pretty funny, huh? Someone liking Internet Explorer. So, you might not like what I like, but this is my top 5 features in Windows 10. And yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. I was thinking about doing a top 5 bad things about Windows 10. So, leave a comment if you want to see that. Peace.